<laughs> I'm A.L. Filkowski. I go by Phil. I'm the owner of eFilth Productions. In 2012, eFilth Productions and Trevor Rocks Denver got together and created The Big Break, which is a competition for Colorado bands uh, where the winning band receives a fully produced music video from eFilth Productions. Your Own Medicine ended up winning the Big Break competition and they didn't have a professionally produced uh, audio track to go for their video. So we got together with uh, Brian Knopf from Maximum Level Audio and he recorded a track for them for the video. Your Own Medicine picked One Man Show as the song for their video. The song One Man Show is, is kind of like your subconscious telling yourself to go out and, and not do the same routine every day and just do something with your life. Quit being a sheep. One of the steps in pre-production that, that we took, which was extremely helpful, is actually storyboarding. I took those, I cut them all out, scanned them all in, and actually put them on the timeline in Adobe Premiere to the song. So everybody that walked on set actually already knew what the video would look like before the first time we hit record on that, on that camera. That was extremely helpful. So the first day on set, we got there, I believe it was like 6 a.m. or 5.30 a.m. or something, and uh, Ken showed up with his huge 18-foot panel truck full of equipment. So we had a crew of 25, so a bunch of people went outside and brought all the gear in, and we set up. Hi, my name is Cougar Littlefield. Uh, I play the lead office guy, and my face is looking really sickly because I've basically just had it day in and day out working in the classic cubicle farm. Working with a crew that gives you basically the freedom to get in the zone of acting. Uh, I think knowing that everyone has their places and feel zoned in on directing and uh, it's such a professional crew, I get the chance just to get in the moment, which for an actor is, you know, our bread and butter and favorite thing. He was really, really accommodating to work with, and uh, he was the one that I did the special effects makeup on the most, um, making him look haggard and all that stuff, and he was a really good sport about it, because I really definitely had a lot of brushes jamming in his eye and all around his eye and stuff like that, so he took it pretty well, and he looked amazing, probably one of my prouder productions and pieces. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it's been really fun and it's my first time ever being involved in something like this, so it's really exciting and educational. Phil is excellent about providing feedback and letting you know what needs to be done, so in that way I really feel like I am contributing to the production. So once we're on set, that's where it really starts to happen. Shoulder of the stairs. What's up there? Who knows? Coming next. Follow me. In the background of this shot, Minotaurs and Iron Men are going to be fighting in an epic battle. Beautiful project. Oh, Gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous. A lot of people waking up that early isn't that great, but when I'm coming to do this, which is my everyday job, that's awesome. Pasquini's is a pizza place. We specifically went to the Pasquini's on South Broadway. They have excellent customer service, delicious pizza, and they helped us out on this production, which I cannot thank them enough for. Yeah, a big shout out to you, Philip, um, for having me on the crew. Um, I love working with these guys. They're awesome. 
Uh, love the work that we are able to put out as a team. Shout out to Ethilf Productions. Definitely. You rule. Ethilf is awesome. Uh, these are some of the most creative, uh, fun loving, professional people that I've ever worked with. Um, they know how to get stuff done. Like, this is, you know, as you've heard from everybody, it's a very professional experience, but it's also like it's a really good time. Everybody's super laid back. The EFL production experience has been just great. I mean, it's amazing getting to see everyone in the zone doing what they know best and being passionate. An act up gets in the zone by taking a breath of fresh air first and letting his character out. <laughs> Phil is an awesome person to work for. He's been not only my best friend, but at the same time, greatest boss ever. He, he really has a passion for filmmaking that is, you can't teach it. So it's really inspiring to see that and good to see him, you know, going places with it. Phil has been very professional and courteous and I'm very hopeful that we'll get to work together again. <laughs> this is a glamorous part of filming, mm -hmm. washing the window. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges with this video was the amount of post-production that went into it. And we knew going into the video initially the amount of work that was going to be down the road. Luckily, I have James Nelson on my side and uh, he can really create some magic out of nothing. Some of the stuff he does is just amazing. I did the cut, the actual cut of the video, timing it, putting all the clips in place. And then I sent the file over to him. Hi, my name is James Nelson. I was part of post-production. I did uh, a lot of visual effects, uh, a lot of chroma keying, a lot of camera tracking. Created the scan beam uh, going across the guy's face. That was not actually real, of course, which is more apparent in some shots than others because, well, there's no scanner there. So the flickering of the fluorescent lenses. So um, all the, len the fluorescence that you see, there's two shots. Um, those lights were not on, of course. Blowouts, I would say, are my, my most fun just because they're, they're bright and they're cool. So they're very eye catching. So <laughs> had fun with those. The most intense experience of my life. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> the first day was uh, on location. I was trying to help out a little bit, doing uh, the slate and everything. So it was a lot of work to see everybody and all the responsibilities that each individual had to do to make that thing work. Cameras and all this stuff, it was so awesome. So like just going through that day and kind of nervous showing up, not knowing how it was going to go, and then just everyone there was so nice, and they were there to try to help out, us out, which was so awesome. So yeah, that was, that was a great day. They were all so awesome, but I, I always think about that day a lot. Of 20 people watching you singing your songs over and over again. I tell you, it was kind of creepy at first, a little bit weird, but after a while it was like more comfortable, and I feel like we play the song better now than we ever have, because we played it at least 50 or 60,000 times in a row. You guys all know that, for sure. <laughs> it's incredible to see uh, how much is involved. To see that everybody could smile and laugh through it and, and, and have a good time was absolutely encouraging. And, and, and uh, you know, it spreads, you know, made it easier for us. Uh, the next day when we did the, uh, the behind the scenes stuff and, and uh, on location in the, uh, where we were, storage unit, I guess, that was kind of cool. You know, throwing dust around and getting kind of dirty and the nitty gritty stuff was kind of cool. So uh, our sponsor, Brave American Hero, did all the wardrobe and stuff for the video. So that was kind of cool. Collaborate with all those companies and you know, some of the people that that were involved in it have become good friends of ours, and uh, I think that's that's special. Um, it was it was incredible. It was really cool to see Ken working, having all the the awesome equipment that I couldn't even begin to pronounce or figure out what it was and. Um, having so many people in the building and having so much love and so much compassion towards one common goal was my favorite thing. Like you all, half of you guys were strangers before we met you and now it's like every time we do something band wise, they're, it's the same crowd, it'll yeah. be the same group. My favorite moment of this video production is the same as my favorite moment in any video production and that's seeing an entire group of people come together and work as one unit with the same goal in mind, the same end game in mind. And like everything just just seemed to, to fall in line and all the puzzle pieces fit. And I, I'm very, very proud of the final product that, that we have. It's been a wonderful pleasure to be a part of it. 
I mean, whether it's moving lights, coiling cables, like if you're wearing an E-Phillips shirt, guaranteed to be a good time, guaranteed. I want to give a shout out to the whole e -Filth team. Um, I am honored to wear this shirt. Um, it's been super awesome working with you guys and uh, I hope for many, many good things in the future. I think we're just at the beginning of something big here. Blah.